Hi, welcome to my front bathroom. Uh, this house was built about 15 years ago and has never really been updated. If you've been reading my blog for the past couple of years, you know that I've had a love-hate relationship with this big expanse of mirror because it is somewhat a dated application in a bathroom and I've tried numerous ways to camouflage it. Last year I was perusing Rhoda's blog from Southern Hospitality and she had done something to her bathroom mirror uh, which is very similar to mine in that she um, added MDF trim. Uh, the difference between her treatment and mine is she did straight cuts on her MDF and then just positioned a decorative square in each corner. Given that, that my son uses this bathroom, I could just see the globs of toothpaste getting stuck in there. So I wanted as less fuss and muss in appearance. So I just made 45 degree cuts on my MDF using the miter box. Once I had all my pieces cut, I did give it a coating of paint and then went over it with a light glazing. And at that time, it was ready to be installed. So the first piece to be installed was the bottom. It received a liberal coating of liquid nails mirror adhesive. You can get this at any home improvement store. We have a lot left that we can use for other projects. And after it received the coating of adhesive, it was just held in place for about 20 seconds. The side pieces went in next, first the right and then the left, and then finally the top piece was applied. Close attention was paid to make sure that the angles did match up. I may go back here and add a wee bit of caulking, sand it down, and uh, do another application of paint so that the seam is not quite as pronounced. But I think it's a great improvement and it really updates the bathroom. And it's just one of the many, many projects you can use with the miter box. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and go give it a try yourself and let me know what projects you've made.